Thanks for joining me today at Slot Valley Racing. For those who don't know, my name is Dan, and today we'll be looking at Auto World's Legends of the Quarter Mile. All this and more today on Slot Valley Racing. Get your heart racing. Five, four, three, two, one. So in this set comes nine 15 inch track sections. One start gate on a 15 inch piece of track. One nine inch piece of track that holds the end gate. One piece of a three inch dead track section. Two track end caps. One power pack. Two variable speed controllers. Two four gear funny cars. One instruction sheet. One track assembly guide one start gate, end gate, sticker sheet. All right, let's open it up and see what's inside. But before we do, let's have a look at the packaging. See what we have here? Packaging looks fantastic. This box made me want to buy it. Nice bright colors, highly detailed. Good explanation of what you're buying here. Front. Here's what the top looks like. Flip it around in the back. Of course, it tells a little bit about some Auto World products. Four gear pit kit. Other cars that can be collected. And a little diagram of the layout of the racetrack right here, or the drag strip, pardon me. And uh, very cool, it's a Hot Wheels Mattel product, means it'll be, uh, delivery will be uh, extremely high and it'll have really good decal on it. Here's the end. tells what it includes once again okay so while I get into this open it up and lay everything out so I can uh, do a tally of what we have here there's a reason why I have purchased this drag strip uh, I'm going to be doing drag racing and drag racing videos I've purchased some extremely uh, important cars They look fantastic. All right, so here we go. Now there's a few different reasons why I bought this set. The first one being obvious. It looks so fun when ProTinkerToys.com had a uh, drag race night um, for their uh, slot car HO race night. It was absolutely fantastic. Everyone had a really great time and it looked like tons of fun. Up until now, I haven't, uh, haven't, haven't bothered with any of the drag racing because, uh, well, I guess I really wasn't into it at the time. All right, after a great struggle, we're in. Have a look. Well, they did a fantastic job with packaging. Let's just start with that right now. <laughs> so what do we have here? Well, I guess we'll go through it as we, uh, as we find it. Looks like we got uh, how to install the batteries.
These are your uh, start and end stickers. Looks like a little leaflet pamphlet of some of Auto World's current stuff. policy shows how to uh, a basic track assembly and how to fix your slot track and tip, <coughs> excuse me tips to care for it Put that to the side here's the uh, end cap track and here's the uh, dead track there's no uh, there's just no rail in it this appears to be the power power pack. yeah power pack just their basic one this set, I believe, was made before the variable speed one came out. Okay, we have uh, five 15 inch straight pieces and should be four. And four 15 inch straight pieces equals nine. side for a moment. All right. So here we have the uh, Auto World Plunger style uh, slot car handle. I uh, never owned one of these before. But it'd be absolutely excellent for slot uh, for uh, drag racing. First one to jam that button down as hard as you can. Bam! All right. So we got a uh, off yellow one, strange color yellow. Would have been cool if they would have made it the same color as the car. And we have we have the red one. All right, a box in a box. Now, of course, this will be the uh, start and end gate, the highlight of this track, I guess you could say. It indeed is an empty box. So here it is. What it looks like. Cars. 
do not want to cut the tape. It's a little better. And this car looks fantastic. Okay, let's get into the yellow one and see what it looks like. So, I've ordered a whole bunch of uh, funny cars, uh, a top fuel dragster. They're going to be coming in a little bit. I got them off my good friend and your good friend, Scott from Scott's HO House of Racing. His collection is absolutely immense. And right now, if you catch him on his live stream, he's getting ready to move. So he's showing every single one of his cars. And they're absolutely, if you are a collector, you need to be at these live streams. Not only that, but he's got a few videos out right now where he's selling his, some of his cars, some of his duplicates. And that's where I picked up a few of these really interesting looking funny cars and a top fuel car. And of course, I'm going to order something current and I'm in classic HVR style. I'm going to hop the shit out of it. I'm going to four gear that sucker right off the track. Four gears are slow and I hear that the uh, top fuels are, are slow and lumbersome. Well, I'm gonna change that. But for now, I just wanted to say uh, hi to Scott. Thanks a lot, my friend, I appreciate it. I hope everybody comes and sees you because you're absolutely, your collection is absolutely fantastic. Thanks again, bro, I appreciate it. All right. Well, this fine piece of HO equipment here, it needed a few batteries. Um, I feel like uh, we're back in the 1980s and I'm loading D cells into my ghetto blaster. Uh, six batteries is kind of ridiculous. Uh, I personally thought it would have been run off the power pack that's already running power to the track. Uh, but, uh, here we are, uh, six, it's gonna take six double A's. Um, I already took the, uh, the cases off. Uh, it took me a few minutes, tiny little screws, big fat sausage fingers. Um, so here, uh, I'm just gonna throw the batteries in quickly. I'm using, uh, I'm sure it doesn't matter, but I'm using Energizer Max, it's what I had in the house, I guess. Okay, got that side in. Just put that to the side for a minute. So that's done. Now we have this side here. Okay, there you have it. Now I'm just gonna screw the plates back on. I'll be right back. All right, this is the point where I gotta take this project to another room. All right, so here we are looking at the starting gate. This is uh, actually a, a fairly uh, decent setup they have here for a drag strip, uh, for a hobby drag strip. This is actually pretty cool. Um, Yeah, it's pretty long, all right. And 
way down to the end there. All right, let's bring it back. We'll talk about the starting gate for a second here. Of course, uh, this is the race set with the uh, working tree. And there are two, two modes. There's a uh, hobby style mode and there's the pro mode. I'll just uh, show you what's going on here. There we go. It's getting ready to start the race, as you can see. That's so cool. All right, so the way it is here, it's just the uh, plunger style. Really, this is just drag racing, so you're gonna smash that button as hard as you possibly can. And here we go. All right. All right, so here we are at the end gate or finishing gate, whichever you'd prefer. And what we have here are essentially two sensors in the track, and it's just gonna catch the first car that rolls by, and it will not flash for the second car. Let's see if I can get it to go here. Okay, so uh, on the right lane, if the right lane would pass by first, I should be able to hit a win and it will not flash for the next car in the other lane. So what it does is it essentially stops the light from coming on the other lane, and it just lights up the lane of the person who crossed the sensors first. Let me see if I can uh, get a view of them on the track here. Yeah, okay. So there they are, you can see one right there, and one right there. Now, hmm. I have an interesting story about this end gate, and I'm gonna talk about it in a minute, uh, but for now, we'll, uh, we'll just check it out. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'll run the cars uh, so you can see how the end gate works. Okay, so there you can see obviously the lights came on for each car in their lane respectively. I can tell you this much, a slowdown zone of three inches is not even close to enough. I've got lots of track, we'll fix this up in a little bit. All right, so sorry I'm on my floor in the living room, uh, in the living room, live holy cannoli. Sorry I'm here on my floor in the living room, but currently it's the only place I could find with enough space until I get the uh, actual setup for this track. Um, well, this is it for now. I got a few cars on the way and we're gonna talk about that in a bit as well. Let's do a quick run and then we'll get to the end part where I'm gonna talk a little bit about this set. Okay, you ready? We're gonna go with the tree, here we go. Oh, the right lane takes it. See, it's literally just that simple. All right, here we go. One more time. Going with the tree. Oh, yellow takes it this time. In the left lane. Thanks for joining me today at Sly Valley Racing. For those that don't know, my name is Dan. And today we had a look at the Legends of the Quarter Mile Pro Racing Drag Strip by Hot Wheels slash Mattel slash Auto World. As a slot car creator who doesn't make any money, we help each other out. There's absolutely no question I'd go to the end of the earth, the end of the slot car earth for this guy. If you're here watching me, you should really be watching this guy next. I'm talking about Scotty's House of HO Racing. Scotty has knowledge more than anyone I've ever seen in my whole entire life when it comes to slot cars. 
He may not be the top in the final word on anything, but he sure knows a lot about everything. Right now, he's unfortunately having to move. So what he's doing is he's currently live streaming every night until he's got his massive collection all put away and packed. So what he's doing is he's talking about the cars as he's wrapping them. He's got this incredible collection of absolutely everything you could think of. HO, of course. Mind blowing. So to Scott at Scott's House of HO Racing, thank you. We all appreciate it. Also, Scott sells slot cars. He's got multiples of cars that have excellent rating and he's blowing them out. So if you look back at his videos, you'll find uh, he's got his uh, sale videos up and you can peruse those. Definitely check them out. He's got a lot there. I bought a few cars from him and I'm gonna show them here before this video ends. I wanna thank you all for watching and for don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, maybe think about it. It costs you absolutely nothing and you get the satisfaction of smashing the shit out of the subscribe button. Thanks from Slot Valley Racing. Don't forget, get your heart racing. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. You want to go do slot cars in the garage? Yup.